Let's evaluate this expression sine square 25 plus sine square 65 is equal to what? No calculator allowed. Think of these two identities. Both of these will come into play. One is this, your famous formula sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to 1. And think of the other cofunction identity which is a sine of an angle is always equal to cosine of its complement 90 minus theta. 20 and 65 are complementary angles. They'll add up to 90. If I were to square this, I can square this, and it would still be right, and I'll show you very quickly. Sine squared theta is equal to, you'd open this up using your cosine difference formula. If you were hesitant to look at that square, you can even push it out, and it's still the same. You have here cosine 90, cosine theta, plus sine 90, sine theta, and then you have that square sitting out. Cosine of 90 is 0 is out, sine of 90 is 1. The only thing which remains is sine square theta is equal to sine square theta. And these things are correct. Sine square of any angle plus cosine square of any angle is always equal to 1. Bring a substitution for here. Based on this identity, I can say sine square of 25 is equal to 1 minus cosine square of 25. I'll have that 1 minus cosine square of 25 substitutes for what? It substitutes for this item right over here. Then I have a plus sine square 65. Think of your cofunction identity. Sine square 65 is no different than cosine square of its complement. What would its complement be? 90 minus 65, meaning it would be the same thing as cosine square of 25. This is what I have. Open all of this. I have 1 minus cosine square of 25 plus cosine square of 25 is equal to what? These two will cancel out. The only thing that remains is 1. That right here is your answer, and it is correct.